Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day because it is a haul day, friends. That's right, this big box right next to me has all kinds of summer goodies in it, and I cannot wait to get into this box and do some first sniffs with you guys because I have I have smelled one scent. If you saw my whiff box video from yesterday, definitely check that out. Um, I did let you guys know I was still going to do the uh, first sniffs for the other fragrances in the collection here today with you guys. So I am so excited. I was a good girl and I did not open the, um, the other products from the Whiff box so that I can do my first sniffs with you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So, um, so first thing that we have from right out of the box here, we have the fragrance flower and cucumber and cactus water. Now, in case you are newer to Scentsy, fragrance flowers are essentially reed diffusers, um, but way prettier, <laughs> way prettier. Um, so you have this little flower that will stick into the pot of oil, the little glass of oil, um, and it will diffuse for, um, Scentsy says, up to 60 days, but it is so much longer than that. Um, I, I've always had really great performances with the um, with the different fragrance flowers. Now, this is different from wax and warmers. This is not going to be room filling in an open concept or anything like that. These are great for smaller spaces, for maybe your desk or a bathroom, smaller spaces like that. Um, you definitely can pick up the scent that way, but it's not going to be like a powerhouse or anything. So I just want to set the proper expectations, but really excited for cucumber and cactus water in the fragrance flower. So um, I think basically everything in here is actually from the summer collection with the exception of one or two things here. So, um, okay. Also, We've got two sets of these summer oils. I will say some of the things in here are for some local friends that I am delivering some orders for. So um, I will just put that out there. So one is for her and then one is for me. Um, so it's Sweet Sunshine and this summer oil pack is a three pack. So we are gonna go ahead and do some first sniffs of this one here. So. Um, right on the top and I love these little tins they're like perfect for gift giving and stuff and it's just nice to just have have them all in one one place right so we have three different oils here you will see and all three of these sound like they're gonna be great but I have yet to actually smell them so we are going to smell them together so we have beach berry smoothie calamsi and coconut and jasmine coco coco bolo so Let's get started. We'll start with beach berry smoothie. So beach berry smoothie, fun little packaging here. And let's sniff this one out. Oh yeah, it's so, it's, it's so sweet. <laughs> it's all berries. Oh, it's really, really nice. So if you like sweet, kind of fruit punchy kind of scents, um, this is a great one for your diffuser. So this is beach berry smoothie. Next one, let's go Calam. Let me see. I, I know I butchered this when I was sharing um, the summer collection with you guys. Uh, Calam, Calamansi, Calamansi and Coconut. Um, we are going to sniff this one next. I have no idea what Calamansi <laughs> smells like, hence why I can't even pronounce it. Oh, this is good though. It's actually, I get some like, Calaman calamansi must be some kind of like a citrus I think because this gives me like lime vibes lime and coconut this is really good I smell like lime and coconut so I really like it though really really nice so calamansi and coconut okay last one from this oil three pack is jasmine and coco bolo so let's go ahead and sniff this out. Once again, don't know what Coco Bolo smells like, but it's nice. This is gonna be your tropical floral. So you have, um, you've got your sweet, fruity berry in the beach berry, right? Beach berry smoothie. You have your kind of citrus coconut with the calamansi and coconut, and then you have your floral here with this one. Really, really nice. Um, it's a coconut floral really really pretty I, I think i pick up like coconut i 
think I pick up some coconut in this, but it's more floral. Really, really nice though. Kind of earthy, really nice. So jasmine and coco bolo. So that is the three oil bundle. So that one is mine. Set that aside here. And then what else do we have? Okay, we have, we have some pods. Oh my goodness, we have pods. I'm really excited for these. So should I smell the pods first with you guys or should I do the, we'll do the pods because the wax is packed up in another box. <laughs> so, all right, we have all kinds of pods, you guys. So we have one, two, three in feeling punchy and check out the colors of these they're just the summer collection is so bright and fun and happy and i just i just love it so feeling punchy let's go ahead and sniff this out so we've got three of those let me just kind of organize my workspace here oh, i did three of all the things okay look how smart i am okay all right we've got feeling punchy and in case you are newer to Scentsy and you're wondering, that doesn't look like a wax bar. It's because it's not. <laughs> These are pods. So our pod packs are our like wax. Oh, wow. Oh. That's totally not what I was expecting. <laughs> this is not at all what I was expecting. Um, our... <laughs> Focus, Lisa. Um, our pods are our waxless fragrance option. Um, so you have these little plastic casings that have fragrance beads inside of the casing. So that way you, th these are used with our fan diffuser system. So our Scentsy Go, our wall fan diffuser, our mini fan diffuser. Um, and then once that fan turns on, also our air purifier, once that fan turns on, it just pushes the air up through this casing, up through the fragrance beads and out and you have that fragrance. So um, really nice fragrance option. This scent. <laughs> is not at all what I was expecting. This, wow, um, I really, <laughs> I really hope the, it's, it's a citrus floral. It's a citrus floral for sure. Um, I thought it was gonna be way, you know what? It, it kind of smells like sweet tarts or something. It's a citrusy floral. There, I get some like powder notes from this. Um, citrus for sure, citrus in the forefront, kind of floral powdery but also kind of like candy sweet tarts. So kind of an interesting combination here. I am very intrigued and we'll see what I think about feeling punchy in the wax. Okay, let's go ahead. I, I already know I love this one. <laughs> so uh, Kikui and coconut. So I have three pods in Kikui and coconut and I already know. Oh, it's so good. This is so, so good. I want this forever in all of the things oh it's so good and i'm so happy that they have this in the soak and in the hand cream oh it's so pretty it's so pretty mm, i love this kakui and coconut so far this is my favorite <laughs> we have only smelled two of the four summer fragrances but hands down this one takes the cake so far okay which one shall we do next Let's do peachy and palm trees. So we have three pods of peachy and palm trees. Okay, I, I have such high hopes for these. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is even better than what I was expecting. This is such a great summer peachy scent. Oh, it's so good. This is, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, now it's gonna get hard to choose. Hmm. Oh gosh, they're they're just different. They're just different. I want Kakui and coconut for like body fragrances. Like I would wear this and I would douse myself in this in perfume, and I will absolutely enjoy it for my home fragrance. But peachy and palm trees. This would also be a really nice like body care kind of fragrance, but really good oh yes okay that's really really nice okay last but not least we also have cucumber and cactus water again three pods here and i'm super intrigued by this one as well so let's get a sniff here oh yeah oh that's good oh it's it's not quite what i was expecting i was thinking more like aloe water and cucumber and 
It's not that. This, there is like a floral note to this, but it's so good. It's really nice. Um, oh man, okay, let me tell you the scent descriptions on these. Oh my goodness, okay. Cucumber and cactus water. Totally not what I was expecting, but in the best possible way. Crisp cucumber wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt, but there is like, there's a floral to the, but it's not like powdery, like the powdery note that I'm getting from feeling punchy. And keep in mind, this is in the pods. Typically for me, the pods smell exactly the same as the wax. I know some people say that like they differ a little bit. For me, they smell exactly the same, but um, this, oh man, this is so nice. Oh, this is so nice. I'm gonna need this in all of the things as well, which I think I actually ordered this in all of the things. Uh, but there is, so I agree with this. Crisp cucumber wades into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. So you really would think this is more like fresh. This is fresh, but it's fresh floral in my opinion. Really, really good. Love this. Let me tell you the scent descriptions on these other guys here. Um, peachy and palm trees. Let's see. Okay. Peachy and palm trees. This is described as sweet peach. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> sweet peach and mango add a tangy twist to smooth coconut milk. It's just peach and like a hint of mango. I don't get a ton of coconut. So if you are someone who you don't really like coconut scents, um, the coconut might just be adding some sweetness to the already sweet peach and mango, but it's really all mostly peach with like a little touch of mango. I don't smell any coconut milk in there whatsoever. So really, really nice. Love this one. Okay. Let me tell you the scent description on Kukui and coconut. Okay. Kukui and coconut. It's perfect. Mm, it's so good. Tropical coconut and kukui nut lounge on a bed of soft jasmine. It's perfect. I would agree with this scent description. Um, really nice. Okay. Feeling punchy. I feel like, hey, you know what? You can't win them all, right? <laughs> okay. Feeling punchy. This is described as bright. Oh man, there is something so off with this. <laughs> There's something really off with this. I'm hoping it's just the pod. Maybe the pot is different in this one. Bright tangerine and pink lemon with a sweet splash of fruit punch. I, I don't, it is, it's citrus. Whew, but man, there is something off here. <laughs> um, there, there, yeah, mm -mm. um, not my favorite, but that's okay. Um, I, I, it's a, it's a citrus floral. I feel like if you liked, well, I, I liked Hey Tiger Lily better, but I feel like if you liked Hey Tiger Lily, which was a scent of the month, was it scent of the month for March, February, March? Um, it was earlier this year. I feel like you might like feeling punchy. It's definitely more floral than I was expecting for sure. But like I said, that's just in the pods. We still have the bars to sniff through. So Mmm, I always like to rate what my favorites are. I gotta go with Kukui and Coconut as my number one. You know what, I'm gonna rate, I'm, I'm gonna think about this and then I'm gonna rate the bars. So that way I can, I can think about, <laughs> I can think about things while we are going through this here. So we also have a couple of hand creams. So we have the hand cream in Peachy and Palm Trees and the hand cream in Kukui and Coconut. I'm telling you, I want Kukui and Coconut in all of the things, all of the things. But I think both of these are gonna be really, really nice. And I love our, in fact, let's go ahead and just <laughs> dive right into this. Um, the hand creams, the hand, I really love the hand and body creams. They're really, really nice. Um, definitely like moisturizing, not greasy, just absorbs right into the skin really, really nicely. Let me just show you. So it's not, it's not greasy in any kind of way. Um, it just absorbs right into the skin and you don't need a ton of product and it's, it's really, really nice. I lived on our hand cream basically. Um, 
in my dental days. So, um, because you're always washing your hands, right? You should always wash your hands a, a bunch anyway, but um, in the medical field, you're like, your hands are just like screaming for, oh gosh, this smells so good. <laughs> this smells so, so good. I love that and I want it in all of the body products for sure. Okay, what else do we have? We have a Washer Whiffs uh, container of Magnolia Linen. In case you are newer to Scentsy and you are not familiar with Washer Whiffs, um, Washer Whiffs are our, um, a part of our laundry line and this is our fragrance booster. So it's not the um, detergent, so you will still use a detergent. Scentsy has a whole laundry line so you can typically find um, your favorite laundry scent in the whole in the whole getup. So, uh, but in the summer collection, we actually have it in cucumber and cactus water. So the cu the cucumber and cactus water laundry bundle actually comes with two of these washer whiffs containers and then one of the laundry liquids. So the laundry liquid is your detergent and then the washer whiffs are your fragrance uh, booster. So we've got those there we've actually got two sets here so we've got two washer whiffs in this bundle and the laundry liquid so two of the bundles there it's it comes like i said as a bundle so you don't have to worry about like oh well i only want one container or anything it's it's already bundled for you so you don't even have to like think about it which is really nice okay we've got more Ooh, we have more things <laughs> okay we also have the counter clean in feeling punchy love this stuff it's magic in a bottle you can seriously use this on any surface pretty much in your house to clean and it is so so nice so we have that in feeling punchy in the center collection two of them two counter cleans feeling punchy Okay, and now we have the bars and we have some warmers to dive into. So I need to clear up some space and then we will continue on with this haul. Okay, so we have cleared some space and now it is time to dive into the last part of this haul. So we will dive into this small little box because this has the good stuff in it. <laughs> it's all good stuff, but we have bars <laughs> we have bars and i am here for it so we have a bar of pink lemon water which is the scent of the month for this month um if you like rose scents you gotta give this one a try it's a it's a really good rose based scent um i prefer it actually mixed so i have tried mixing it with actually vanilla bean buttercream which is actually a really nice mixture um also squeeze the day is a really nice mixture just to kind of up the lemon levels in pink lemon water but it is it's good if you prefer rose scents you gotta give this, this one a try because Scentsy doesn't do a ton of rose scents um so don't be fooled by the name. It doesn't smell like, uh, I don't know. I was thinking it was going to smell like some kind of like a raspberry lemonade or something. And it, that's not at all what the description says. So I just totally like made that up in my head, but it smells like rose. <laughs> it's what it smells like. Okay. I am dying to smell this bar again. So feeling punchy. We've got at least two bars. I think we probably have more than that, but feeling punchy. We have at least two bars. Um, okay. I, I can't love them all. Like it's, it's a good thing that I don't love them all. Right. Yeah. It's just, it, there's something it's like, it is citrusy and then it is kind of like sweet and tart. There's just kind of like, there's an off note in this for me, but it, it, it's definitely better in the wax than it is in the pods for me personally. But We'll have to wait and see. I'll see what my husband thinks. He is like Mr. Citrus. So we'll see what his thoughts are on this one. It'll be interesting to see. Okay. Next one. We have at least two bars of cucumber and cactus water. I am so excited about by these other scents. Okay. Cucumber and cactus water. It's just so good. It's so good. Like I said, not what I was expecting based on the description. I was thinking more aloe water and cucumber type vibes, but this is even more summery. And 
I do get a floral note, but I'm, I'm picky with my florals. Um, this isn't like, it's not powdery in any kind of way. And it is kind of like beachy. So it's nice. I really, really like this. So cucumber and cactus water. Okay, we also have a bar up. Here's a few random things that we're just going to throw into the mix here. Um, the Chase Rainbows Wax Collection. I think, did I get all of them? I may have gotten the whole set again, but um, at least Chase Rainbows Blue. <laughs> this just smells like your kind of traditional, basic, clean laundry kind of scent. Um, yeah, just kind of smells like clean laundry. So nice and clean. Uh, we also have Chase Rainbows Orange. I love this one. And as I have recently found out, it turns out that most people don't like this one. I guess I'm the odd one out on this one, along with Buzzworthy and like a few others where like the majority of people don't care for this. I love this. And what's kind of funny is that, so orange, actually smells more like fruit punch than feeling punchy, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but it's really good. I love this one. I love this. It's actually in my club. I am kind of obsessed with it. So let me know down below in the comments, what are your thoughts on Chase Rainbow's Orange? Because I, someone had left a comment saying that the vast majority of people don't care for it, but I don't know. I guess I, I guess I'm just one of the weirdos that loves it. It's really, really good in my opinion. So I have never heard it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're going to smell peachy and palm trees in the wax. It's so good. It's so good. It's just as good in the wax as it is in the pods. It's peach and mango and it's summery and fruity and sweet. And I just, Oh, it's so good. Okay. Another bar of feeling punchy. And then we have a few more randoms here. We've got a bar of Atlantic air. Atlantic air is just kind of like, it's a fresh, clean, you know what it smells like? It smells like cool water. It smells like the cool water, um, like perfume or cologne really it's it's pretty it's fresh and clean but also kind of perfumey really really pretty so nice fresh one for the spring and summer months camu camu one of my favorites for the spring and summer time and it is just so tropical fruity and i just love this one so much very 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 summery love it camu camu and then palm trees and ocean breeze. This is a really great, fresh, clean, beachy scent. Um, and this is so strong. <laughs> this is really strong. This is a powerhouse. I am going to be doing my um, scent strength series here. Probably, I think I am, I should be able to get it done this month. So um, definitely stay tuned for that if you are looking for help in picking some fragrances that will fit your needs, whether you prefer. And these, these are just based on my own opinions. Everybody's sniffer differs. Everybody has like their own experience with scents. It's funny when I hear other people talk about like a scent that they say oh this is a total powerhouse this is amazing and for me it does nothing so it does depend on the environment that it's in um in terms of how it's going to perform so i am going to give you my opinions on scent strength uh based on just my own experiences but this one she's a powerhouse <laughs> palm trees and ocean breeze very fresh clean very beachy very very much a powerhouse so i love it Okay, we have a couple more here. We have coconut lemongrass, which is a great staple. This is one that I like to have as a staple in our house all the time. Um, I actually really like getting this in a brick through Scentsy Club. It is really good to have, like that's how much of like a staple this needs to be in our house. Um, I love lemongrass scents, but this is just, it's so nice because you have a touch of sweetness from the coconut because the lemongrass is a very kind of, I don't want to say astringent because that makes it sound bad, but it's a very like zesty, like it's a very zesty kind of scent. But let me tell you, if there is a scent you are trying to rid in your house, <laughs> if you cooked a dinner the night before that was very, very potent, it was, you've got, you know, I, there is nothing worse for me personally than smelling dinner from the night before the next day. Like I don't want to smell my dinner from the night before. Um, 
coconut lemongrass. <laughs> coconut lemongrass is gonna do it every single time. Your like lemon type scents are going to like really help rid the like food odors and stuff. Um, coconut lemongrass does a really, really great job of just kind of cleansing the air of those like lingering food odors. One of my favorites ever, ever, ever is <laughs> Skinny Dippin'. I love Skinny Dippin', it is so good. This is one of my favorites for the spring, for the summer, for all of the time. I love this. It's another beachy, summery, fruity. I get tropical fruits from this. Um, I, I think my nose goes a little bit rogue here. There's like apples and pears, and I do get like almost like a papaya almost. Um, it's really, really nice. I, I love this. So skinny dipping, got a bar there. And then we have another bar of cucumber and cactus water. And then we have three bars, I'm so excited, <laughs> of kukui and coconut. Okay, we have to smell this bar and compare it to the pod because we did the others. So it's so good. <laughs> It's really good. I didn't know what I was expecting with this, but it's really, really nice. Oh, okay. Which are gonna be my favorites here from the summer collection? Okay. Gosh, that's good. Okay. They're so different. So it's hard. It's hard because they're, they're so different. I would definitely suggest giving them all a try because they are so different. Um, let's go, I think Kikui and Coconut is my favorite. Followed up close second. Oh man, um, I think Cucumber and Cactus Water is gonna be number two for me. Number three, Peachy and Palm Trees, and then number four. <laughs> would be feeling punchy. Th this one, I, I can take it or leave it. We'll see, I'm still going to warm it and see what happens, but this one I can kind of take or leave. I wouldn't be surprised if all three of these wind up in my club, cause they're really, really good. We'll see how they do when they're warming, but just on cold, they're really good. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into some warmers. So we have two summer collection warmers and then we have another one that is just kind of thrown into the mix and we are just gonna we're just gonna roll with it so the first warmer we are going to unbox is the desert darling in pink the mini warmer from the summer collection so let's go ahead and unbox this together and check out this cutie so with our mini warmers they're kind of like a nightlight style um it's a nightlight style, so you have this base that plugs directly into the wall here. And in the front of your base, you have your little on and off switch. Bink, bink. So you'll, you'll get your 15 watt bulb that you will just uh, screw in there. And then you have your warmer. Okay, we've got our warmer shade here. This is so cute. <laughs> this is really, really cute. We have the Desert Darling in pink. So, so cute. So you've got your little cacti on the front. And I like that this is like, it's not super shiny. It's kind of like a matte finish almost. Um, and you've got some whole cutouts on the back here. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. So this is a ceramic warmer. So if you are wanting a tabletop base for this particular warmer, you will want the one for ceramic warmers. So you will just take it, you'll put, you'll screw your light bulb in, and then you're just going to line up those notches. You'll see those notches there. You'll want to line those up with these notches on the bottom of the shade there. So you'll just put that on and you want to make sure it's facing the right way. <laughs> and then you have your Desert Darling Mini Warmer in pink. And so it just plugs directly into the wall and then you can turn it on and turn it off. And you have that, so, so cute. And then you'll just put your wax right in here. So with these mini warmers, I will typically suggest to just do one cube of wax. Cube meaning with your wax, you are getting eight cubes in each bar. Um, don't like do this. <laughs> 
I don't think that you can put the whole bar into your warmer. Don't do that. You will have a wax accident. And you're going to say, Lisa, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what happened. Be like, oh no, I believe it. <laughs> so mini warmers, I would just start with one, one cube. One cube should be just enough. Um, full size warmers, I recommend doing two or three, but I, we're going to get to the full size warmers here in just a second. So super cute desert darling pink mini warmer. So part of the summer collection, which by the way, the summer collection is only available while supplies last. As I'm recording this, everything from the summer collection is still currently available, but that could change at a moment's notice. So just consider yourself warned there. <laughs> okay. What else do we have? We also have the Desert Darling Green Warmer. So this is the full size warmer from the summer collection. So, I mean, if you've got one, you can get the other. <laughs> that way they match. Um, I love that Scentsy does that. A lot of times um, they'll have one full size warmer or one mini warmer, and then they'll have the complimentary opposite warmer. So, and I love this green. This is like such a good, like summery, green color. Love it. So on the bottom, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see this very well, but you've got the authentic Scentsy logo, and then you're going to see a little number, which is upside down. <laughs> you're going to see a little number um, underneath the Scentsy logo. There is a little number four. So that's just letting you know how many cubes not to go over when you are warming your wax. So like I said, with these full size warmers, I say just do two or three. Uh, but if you maybe are doing some mixing or something, or you feel like you get better scent throw with more wax, just make sure you're not going over four cubes when you are warming your, your wax in your warmer. Okay. Let's check this one out. So this comes with a 25 watt bulb. So you've got your little clear bulb here. This is really cute. I love it. So cute. So see what I mean? Like how cute would these be to like have together? Look at these. <laughs> love them. They're just, they're so dang cute and so perfect for summertime. I love it. So let's go ahead. I'll light this up even though it, this is not going to glow. You can tell because it's it, the, the painting. You, you can just tell this is going to be an opaque um, warmer, but there are some hole cutouts right back here. So you will get a little bit of shine and glow from there, but you won't get it. Like the whole warmer is not going to light up like some of them do. Okay, so let's check this out. So we've got the light bulb in, she's all plugged in. We've got our dish, so you'll just stick your dish right in there like so, and then you will turn it on. So see what I mean? It's on, you can't tell. <laughs> So if you're looking for a warmer that doesn't put off a ton of light, something like this would totally work, but you are going to get a little bit of glow from whatever wall is behind it. Let me turn my lighting off. It's not really going to make a difference, but, um, you'll see, like you'll get a little bit of glow from the wall that's behind this warmer. But other than that, you're really not going to get any glow at all. So this is a, a good, just straight home decor piece, um, that will obviously function with making your home smell amazing as well. So this is the Desert Darling Green Full Size Warmer. Okay, so we still have one more warmer to unbox. This is not a part of the summer collection. <laughs> this is a part of the, uh, the spring and summer Scentsy catalog. So this is going to be available for the spring and summer season. Um, it, is, you know, it may wind up going on back order or something, but if it's ever on back order during the season, it will be restocked um, unless we get to like the end of the season. And then they say, we're gonna discontinue this. So we're not gonna restock, but um, I don't see this one going away anytime soon. Let's knock on wood. <laughs> um, but we have the pressed tin full size warmer. So this one has always intrigued me. And I thought, you know, I, I figured this would be a kind of a cool one to do um, my new, what I'm doing this new series. It's like warmer spotlight series. So that way I thought this would be a good warmer to pick up and kind of show you. So in case you're someone who you watch the hauls, you're going to get some sneak peeks into maybe some of those like warmer spotlight pieces because that's exactly what this is. So, all right, let's check this out. So it comes with a white dish here 
And one of the questions I always get asked about this particular warmer is, is it metal? <laughs> like people always ask. So we are going to answer that here today. And I can tell you, it's not metal. <laughs> but that's how good of a job they have done, that Sensi has done with this particular warmer, because they make it look like a pressed tin, like the pressed metal tile. Um, that's how good they have done with this warmer. So this is a 25 watt warmer. So it comes with your 25 watt bulb. And then let's unwrap this. They did such a good job with this because it does, it really does look like it's metal, but it's not. This is ceramic. And you have that like pressed tin tile design all the way around this warmer. This is another warmer that is not going to glow, but it does have these whole cutouts all around the warmer. So it is going to put off a little bit of light there. This is really pretty. Yeah, this is one that you do need to kind of see in person. So let's go ahead and light this one up together. Okay, so again, we have our light bulb and what's kind of cool about this is that the inside of this is a, it's really dark. <laughs> it's really dark inside. So um, yeah, I think this is actually more of a like charcoal gray ceramic and then it's painted the white on the outside, if that makes sense because then they kind of like distress this to let the tile pattern kind of show through. It's done really well, it's really nice. So we have our warmer dish that's just gonna sit right on top just like that. And let's turn it on. There you have it. So like I said, not gonna be a super bright glowy warmer. So if, if once again, if you are someone who you are not wanting like pieces like this that glow and are bright, these are great because it's, it's simple. It's giving you the home decor without being distracting. Cause I know some people get distracted by like the bright glow. So this is not going to do that. It's gonna give you some little subtle hints of glow and still provide you amazing home fragrance. The ceramic warmers actually hold their fragrance, or sorry, hold their heat um, the best out of any of the warmers along with the metal. Um, so they hold their heat in the best, which actually allow allows the scent to perform at its best. So like the glass warmers will typically like let off a lot of that heat. So it doesn't like the scent throw isn't as great as like some of the ceramic warmers, if that makes sense. So this is really nice. This is actually even prettier than I was expecting. Um, I, I thought it was, I always thought it was cute, but I just, I don't know, it just kind of like flew under my radar, but this is, I really like this. <laughs> I do really like this and it actually, it totally goes with our like decor right now. So I love it. This is the pressed tin warmer and this is not a new one. This has been around, this has been around for a minute and I, I don't see it going anywhere, but this is ceramic. It's not metal, <laughs> even though it looks like it's metal, but I get asked that all the time and that's, it's for good reason because you don't know, right? So, and the, the dish is nice and sunken in, so it's good and sturdy. I think this is a great warmer. So there you have it. I have done some damage, <laughs> but not by myself. I will say, like I said, I have a couple of orders that I need to throw together as well, but I wanted to share this haul with you and give you my thoughts on the summer collection goodies. I will definitely be adding some things to my club. <laughs> I will be adding some things to my club. So um, let me know down below, have you picked up anything from the summer collection? What is your favorite fragrance from the summer collection? Oh man, they, I mean, three out of the four. <laughs> really, really good. I'm still deciding on feeling punchy. So definitely stay tuned for a what I've been warming video because I will let you know my thoughts once I have warmed it. Maybe it'll be a really good mixer and it'll blow my mind. I don't know, but these three knocked out of the park. Absolutely fantastic. So cannot wait to get to warming this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and hanging out for yet another long haul video. I really appreciate the love and support. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, if you like the hauls, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys, I hope you have an amazing day and a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.